Now, even if they have right plan in place, right strategy in place, there are some natural challenges. It could be privacy, it could be compliance, it could be security, depending on the organization, it could be culture. What are some of the most common challenges you see to getting started with adopting AI applications? Well, that's, a, I mean, you, you come off with a pretty good list already, Swapno, but let me just bring my own perspective to that. You know, lots of the organizations we work with are large financials, maybe they're large media companies. And the first problem is always people. And I don't mean to imply that people are a problem as such, but that, again, back to a previous point, if you're not bringing people along for the journey and not getting first off executive buy-in, and that means that, you know, very much we're talking about dealing with people's data. And so if we need to get hold of HR data to enable our systems, if we need to get hold of operational data or policies, if we're not able to have the to grease the wheels, so to speak, at a leadership level, then these AI initiatives may well fall flat. Secondly, I'd say, and related to that, is, is a very real problem simply of integration. Do, do the endpoints exist? Do the data silos exist? that we can begin to bring into our platforms to start to realize those benefits of connecting our HR data to our, you know, to our employee data, um, to our you know, operational data, to our security data. Um, and so, you know, those two things are, are, are very key. And the third one, of course, is, is skills and training. And I think AI is such a broad field that and it, it quite rightly in some regards terrifies people. Um, but I think the kind of AI we're talking about when we're talking about what uh, seems to work best in industry, it's kind of a boring answer, but it's back office automation. It's human in the loop. It's helping humans do um, uh, uh, repetitive tasks better. It's not about learning hardcore mathematics or any of that stuff that we did at university when we were doing AI. And um, it's really just about understanding how to, how to get the best out of the tools. And that's, I think that's the same for AI tools as it is for any other piece of technology. So people should not fear it. And back to your previous point you made, Swap, now that's why that organizational buy-in and that why is so important up front. That's so true, which is more or less like a lot of organizations struggle with readiness, both organizational and data. How can leaders realistically assess if they're actually ready to build AI applications? Well, again, it comes back to understanding the uh, the, the why and uh, consequently the what, um, Swapnil. Again, I don't want to underplay the role of skills. Not everybody needs a PhD in artificial intelligence. Uh, I think what they really need is, under, is to understand uh, systems from an overall integration point of view. Because as much as some you know, uh, AI truth sayers might uh, deny it, AI technology is like any other piece of technology. And if your internal processes um, and your own digital transformation journey um, is already underway, I think you're well placed, and your change management, by the way, is also um, you know, uh, very functional. I think you're already well placed to adopt artificial intelligence as any other piece of technology. But if you're dealing with legacy systems, if you're dealing with lots of technical debt, if, for example, uh, again, speaking anecdotally, so it takes two days to recover from you know, a failing disk or a software, you're probably not ready for uh, adopting a technology like AI, but arguably you're not ready for adopting any additional piece of technology. Um, so if, it could, if, if the audience could take away one thing, so it's that it's... it's AI is not some mystical beast which is self-healing and, and can run itself and can just realize benefits out of the box. It needs that proper foundation. And so in order to be ready, it really comes at looking at existing processes, where you are in a digital transformation journey, and being confident that you know how to run and manage your existing uh, data platforms, your existing uh, cloud platforms, internal platforms as appropriate. Uh, that's the starting point. 